Okay, so we're going to um, model the ramp um, here. So if we just view this like so, we want to right click on the snaps button, make sure it's vertex it's going to snap to. And we're going to try and zoom in. Now I'm going to have to switch some layer off and try and get a clean point to snap to. So we create a second tab along for shapes in the rectangle. Turn the snap on. So dragging out the rectangle, I'm going to have to start to zoom out and then zoom back in again to find the snap and then let go Then right click the mouse. So I've stopped drawing the rectangle. So I want to make this rectangle an editable polygon, so I'll go to modifier edit poly you can see that more clearly in shaded mode, it's now a polygon Sure, I can see edged faces when I click tessellate. It's tessellated it for me, which if I hide the layers below, you can see it's splitting there symmetrically. What I want to go into sub object with this edge. Select this one and then control click and select that one. So I've got two with two edges selected. Let's see that from the top. I'm gonna switch those layers back on because it's gonna have to line up with the turn of the ramp there, so just reselect that, W to move it, and then we're moving it in that direction. I'm going to have to turn snapping off and just do it by eye. In theory, you could probably snap if you're careful. You could snap to the edge, but I'm going to try and just put it there. Okay, so I'll come out of edge sub object mode and we'll zoom out again. the ramp to be halfway to ceiling height so I'm going to W to move and I could be moving in the Z direction but I'll type in the value that I want which is 1300 and press enter so it's now halfway to 2600. Press Q. To come out of, so we don't accidentally move it any further. Okay, that's fine. 
could hide that layer or I could right click I'm going to isolate selection so I can just focus on the, the ramp at the moment we want to select this edge here and we want to look for a button that says split and then if that is split these should be able to separate like so so this edge here in the Z direction is going to be on the zero this edge here in the Z direction is going to be at ceiling height which is 2600 millimeters press enter so that is the shape of the ramp all we need to do is give it thickness so we'll come out of the sub object mode add a modifier shell let's see 80 millimeters you can see if you zoom in it's now got thickness and then in and isolate and so you can see that in the context of the drawing it's a ramp where someone can walk up here and so what would follow is to develop the mouldings and the banisters and uh, walls around that so still a bit of work to do on it but that's how you get started modeling the ramp.